All right, we got blue out. I don't know if you guys got a blizzard up there or not, but down in Harriman, it's been crazy snow today. So getting the dogs out on field trips and doing some treadmill stuff at home and playing in the snow, working on house manners. But as far as getting him out, um, he has been so good. So a couple things that I just want to point out when I'm working him, just some things that I'm seeing is making sure that he's maintaining a really nice heel position throughout the, the time at Lowe's. So when we get him out in public, sorry, um, if he's too far ahead, he's actually putting himself in a guarding position. So depending on the person that he's walking with, I don't, he might be more inclined with some people than others um, to guard. And that's part of that genetic Aussie mind as I wanna guard certain, certain things, the house, maybe certain people. So as I'm working with him, if I feel like he's getting out ahead, I'm actually gonna scoot him back and make him align and even kind of walk slightly behind me so it's a lot less stressful for the dog behind sometimes a dog like him who's more prone to stress will put himself up front and then start to stress out because they're in a position they found themselves in that they don't make good decisions in so um with him i always think like if i put my arm out just slightly i should be able to swing it and he's not going past it. Another way to check is, is he catering to my space if I turn into him? So if I, so he slowed way down there to cater to me, he's aware of where I'm going. If I turn this way, he's got to get sticky and get really up close. And so, yeah, there's a number of little tests I can do, and I might practice some of these things before we go into the store. And even practice it before we go on a walk in the neighborhood or even on a trail. So I might get him out of the car and if I'm going to take him on a trail, I might practice some obedience before I give him some off leash freedom. And this is something I might do is making him heel really, really tucked in and then maybe have a less let's go command if he's off leash and it's a little bit more of a casual thing. So Heel is going to be this really tight box next to me where he's got to stay in position. And let's go might be that command that you give him while you're doing a, a jog with him. So, um, yeah, especially when we're in a store and we've got lots of people, lots of workers, you know, we come to Lowe's a lot because I know it can be triggering for him to have some of the workers. It's a little different for dogs when it's not on home base but we've had a couple people come up and say to him um hey how are you puppy and like try to call at him i don't let him go say hi in those situations even if he's inclined to do so so even if he's like really excited and he's wanting to go say hi i want to work on the obedience when we're out here around people so that way when we have people come over he has a better way to process the stress of that person and he's not always so conditioned to engaging with the environment whether it's happy-go-lucky or whether it's aggressively so um somebody came up to him and wanted to excuse me sorry nice dog oh uh, thank you his name's blue blue i got three of them you do oh oh nice yeah so even situations like that like we just keep it short and sweet and then we carry on. Um, somebody else wanted to come up and say hi to him because he's cute. He's a beautiful dog. He's got really cool markings. You know, he kind of stands out in the crowd. And so, but what I typically will say is, no, he's in training or no, he's not friendly. If people are trying to come up and smooch him. Because um, it does bring him some stress to go into a room and be required to be extroverted when he's a lot more introverted. <laughs> so it makes him nervous, it makes him flighty. 
And ultimately, if I don't respect that, it will ultimately make him go into a fight response because we're not listening, we're not advocating to his uncomfortable mannerisms and we're just allowing people to come up into his space when he's clearly uncomfortable. So over time, he'll start to growl, he'll start to almost like prepare like when he sees a person, I'm preparing to get aggressive because that person might say hi to me. But if I go into public spaces and I just have him be neutral, I get more of this where he's, well, I'll just engage with you because you're my person and you keep me safe. And um, yeah, and kind of help him go from there. Cause I think he, he has a tendency to be more aloof than extroverted so I just don't want to further stress him out but I've, have him come out and be neutral like people people will be neutral to you if you maintain being neutral to them and pay attention to me and we're gonna get through it oh bud yeah but definitely does stress him out the more they talk to him he was a little bit nervous when that person called out his name so we want to make sure we're listening to that. Come on, buddy. So good.